So if you've seen my other videos on how to do a one-way switch and a two-way switch, if not the sum links up here. Now we're going to look at the trickiest one of all, the intermediate switch, where theoretically you could have as many light switches as you wish, typically for house it's three, and that's what I'm going to show you today. That's because you might want to turn the light switch off from here, or from here, or from here. So we start in exactly the same way as the one-way and two-way switches. From your ceiling rows, you've got your live in, live out, and then your cable down to your switches. As you recognize, this is the wiring for the two-way lighting circuit. And this is how the intermediate switch starts and ends. Your switch wire drops down into the first two-way switch and is connected by a three-core cable via an intermediate switch and finishes again into a two-way switch exactly the same as a two-way lighting circuit. So let's stretch out the diagram so we've got enough space to show our intermediate switch. So here we are, we stretched out the circuit and added an intermediate switch in the middle. So the intermediate circuit is exactly that. It starts and ends with a two-way switch and then it can have one, two, five, hundred intermediates in between those two switches on the ends. And the wiring is very similar to the two-way circuit on the intermediate circuit. As you can see there, the grey wire is coming out of terminal one of the first two-way switch and goes into the terminal one of the intermediate switch and then out of the terminal one of the intermediate switch, finishing up in terminal one of the final two-way switch. Similarly, the black wire starts in two, goes into two of the intermediate, out of two of the intermediate and finishes up in two of the final two-way switch. The common, however, is a tiny bit different because it didn't really connect to the intermediate switch at all. So come out of the common terminal of the first two-way switch and then in the back box of the intermediate switch, we just use a connector block to connect the common wires together. And then from the connector block, we go to the final two-way switch and it finishes up in the common terminal again. Well, I hope that was useful for you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.